Hey guys, data orchestration guru and the data dog are here to tell you about the new Astronomer Cosmos package that allows you to render any kind of third-party workflow um, in Airflow. So you can use the Airflow UI to see you know, how something like DBT might uh, be running even if you're not running it directly through DBT. Um, so right now we're starting off with DBT and let me give you a quick breakdown of how this actually works. So the basic concept behind this is basically we developed a package that reads your operations within DBT um, and then visualizes them uh, using tasks in the Airflow UI. So instead of you needing to try and you know, have a task per, per DBT function, it'll actually read your entire DBT pipeline and then visualize it in Airflow without you needing to go and individually do it. Um, so how this will all work in practice is first you'll need to install um, this Astronomer Cosmos package with DBT all. Um, and then you'll create a DAG and import the DBT task group operator. Um, and this is gonna require the name of your DBT project, Airflow connection ID, schema, and then any arguments you might need to pass to DBT. So if you're doing like, you know, hey, based on a certain variable, run this function, uh, you would pass it through this DBT task group operator. Um, so getting into an example DAG, what we can do is go down here to look at a pretty basic example. As you can see, it's not super complex to set up. This is really meant to give you all the flexibility that you know DBT Cloud would offer without you needing to actually pay that $100 a seat. Um, so you can get all the visualization tools. Um, if you're using Astronomer, you get an IDE as well that allows you to you know, write your scripts within Airflow so you never actually need to go into DBT um, to run them. So if we look at this DAG here, you can see you know, I'm importing my classic DBT task group um, as well as the empty operator, date, time, and DAG. Um, and then in this actual workflow, you can see just defining a DAG as a normal DAG. Um, we have this little empty operator here just as a starting operator um, to trigger the beginning of this workflow. Um, and then the important part here is this DBT task group. So what this is doing is, and you can notice there's not a ton of information that's actually needed to use this operator. Um, all you'll need is your group ID for DBT, um, which will just give you a group ID for this task group that we're gonna create in Airflow, um, your DBT project name, so which DBT project you'd like to run, and then your connection ID to connect to your Airflow DBT uh, instance, as well as some DBT arguments. So in this, we're telling it to use the public schema. Um, and then that's really it. You don't really need to do anything else. Um, what this will do is automatically run the Jaffel Shop uh, DBT project and then visualize it using Airflow. Um, so don't need to use bash operators as you had to in the past to run DBT. Now you get kind of a more native and functional way of running DBT instead of trying to crib it together with a dash or bash operator. Um, so it makes it a lot less hacky and a lot more functional to actually use in practice. And so when we actually start to run this, what you'll do is go to uh, DBT task group operator. We'll create a task group with those tasks defined in your DBT project. And so you can see this is all visualized within the Airflow UI. So this task group that you're making is generated automatically from the tasks that were defined in that DBT project. So we can see, you know, CG customers run, customers test. We have some operations to collate customers, organize them, add them to each other to create a data set. So, you know, the reason we have ingestion workflow as the example is typically, you know, you'll start with some data, bring it into DBT and run it through the model um, and then extract it out of DBT and put it in some kind of storage location um, after or just whatever kind of uh, end destination you want. Um, so you notice, we didn't have to write any of these tasks individually. The Cosmos framework read all those tasks from DBT and visualized them in the Airflow UI without us needing to actually go in and visualize each task individually. Um, and so now that you've seen kind of how it functionally works, let's look at some of these guiding principles here behind it. So right now, this is just for DBT, but the plan state is to run this for any kind of third-party workflow. So, you know, maybe Azure Data Factory or really any kind of external workflow tool. Um, we wanna be able to plug into the Airflow UI so you have a single source of truth through the Airflow UI without needing to go into all your different systems to monitor different workflows. Um, and so the way we're gonna accomplish this is we have parsers and providers, so, and operators. So these are, parsers will basically are the hidden engine behind the hood that's reading what's happening in DBT and then pulling out and visualizing it within Airflow. Um, and so those, you're never really gonna need to look at. We'll design them and release them to you. Um, and then operators, these are actually the user interface. So that's that DBT task group that you saw there where I just input my variables and it does the rest. Um, and that's gonna be all powered behind the parsers behind the scenes. 
Um, and so the guiding principles and the reason why we've actually done this is generating DAGs dynamically instead of needing to actually explicitly find every workflow, update them a lot easier without needing to make some update in DBT and then make the corresponding change within Airflow. Any changes within DBT will be reflected within Airflow. Um, flexible, so it's not opinionated. There's no specific rendering method you're gonna to need to use. You can decide if you wanna render it as a DAG, a task group, or an individual task. Um, and also extensible. So if you want to bring your own parser in to design your own operator to bring in a workflow, you have that opportunity to do so. Um, and then finally, modular. It's designed to be super modular. So you can, you know, as you saw up there, you don't need to install a lot of dependencies. It's very lightweight. So you don't need to worry about, you know, packing all these extra packages just to make it run. We want it to make it simple and easy and avoid all that extra legwork. Um, so I hope you learned something. And uh, I hope you check out Cosmos in the future. Have a good one.